years, people in small towns have claimed to see strange sights, things often dismissed as superstition or hoaxes. Tonight, we examine such a case in such a town. Bob Taggart reports. Welcome to Woodlick, Indiana, a sleepy little town if there ever was one. But most residents here will tell you that when you're most sleepy, the nightmares soon come out. So what was it that happened to you, Mr. Fielding? So I was out in the woods just, you know, rolling my camera, as I often do, and uh, I heard something strange. Well, it, you know, it frightened me, so naturally I awkwardly tilted the shot and uh, unfocused my camera lens. What exactly did you see? It was, a, it was a big, hairy thing, you know, just rummaging around in the forest. I, it was almost human-looking. I know it's going to make me sound crazy, but I think it was Elvis. Unbelievable? Maybe. But Mr. Fielding was not the only person to have an encounter with the former chart-topping musician. I went out to feed my hound dogs around nine, and they was just barking up a storm. I grabbed my flashlight, and I saw this set of tracks leading out to the shadowy creature out in the woods. The moonlight twinkling off its sequined hide. I understand you took a mold of the footprint. That's right. That right there is a genuine blue suede shoe print. Even though these sightings aren't definite proof that the legendary king of rock and roll has taken refuge in Woodlick, some residents are still going on the offensive. What do you gentlemen plan on doing after you hunt Elvis? Don't know. Might stuff it. Might mount it. Might do both. I don't know. Really? I thought you gentlemen would be happy that Elvis is in your community. Ah, oh, here we go again. You see that? That's a stereotype. Does it make you more comfortable with who you is to slap a label on me? Come on, man. Just, just cause I got a truck, or I got a gun, oh, I must love Elvis. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. I hate Elvis. See, me and Duke, we got a more uh, diverse artistic palette, you know, in the artistic community. Mm. Hell. Duke's got a master's degree in Elizabethan literature. Yep. Y'all's fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. Okay, well, whose music do you like? Oh, Abba? Yep, Abba. Hell, you like Abba? Of course I do, baby. You can see right in my goddamn soul. Like an open book. A book called My Soul. Though, as I speak, Buford and Duke are on the hunt, some people outside this small town have a more sympathetic view. Look, it, it is simple. If Ellis does indeed exist, then he has made this place his home, and he must be protected. We must support our artists, especially one as endangered as Elvis. So, there you have it. Could this just be another hoax perpetrated by some Elvis impersonators? Or couldn't this small town finally have the real thing? Can we have faith in the unbelievable? And can this provincial town's dreams of fame finally come true? I'm Bob Taggart, reporting for Channel 15 News.